Well, today in price check, we're going to take a look at one of the kings of the antique world. We're talking Mycin porcelain, and not too long ago, when late October, we had a sale for six thousand dollars for Mycin Russian Elizabeth Petrona in mint condition. I am not a Mycin specialist. I could not necessarily tell you what we are looking at other than very fine 18th century German porcelain with some offensive overtones. And beyond that, can tell you that it should have a little sword mark. The mice and edges are flat and smooth, much more so than the pottery we're used to in the US. And the reason we pay attention is $6,000. It is very hard to argue. And other objects, we did see a sale for a plate uh, mason at five thousand dollars looks like it is reticulated so we so and i i'm not sure how the technique works but i know that there's little holes in the porcelain all the way around and looks like we have a strong painting in the middle and we have the double sword mark very nice. And what else do we have here? We have a, oh, this is lovely. This is a early 18th century Mycin teapot, likely a riff on Chinese style at the time. And that is really great, really well decorated. And I'm not surprised, selling for very punchy price, $4,500. And you might say mice in this, mice in that, because this isn't stuff that you find. And um, you know, maybe that's that's true for the most part. Like you're probably not going to be the one person in the world that finds uh, this blue on gold uh, 18th century mice. And look like we have a. A little homage to Sevra after it gets started here. Yeah, and this screw in the bottom to hold it together. Interesting piece. Interesting piece. And sell for two thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Like it's just you can't pay you can't not pay attention to this. And frankly I think this is quite these are quite stylish. And on the right mantelpiece, this almost unmatched. So I take us here to the mycin that I've found and come across or really have been able to purchase. And I, I own one. I own one of these two. I bought it from an antique store that was closing and I did not pay very much for it, but I always thought it was cool, so I've got my little piece of mycin. Uh, hopefully someday I'll have the opportunity to come into some others. Uh, really interesting stuff here. And I just you can't argue with price in the antique world. Well, hopefully you learned something here, and at least... Uh, most of all, learn to keep your eye out for the cross swords. So, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Support us in doing this as we are getting going. And hope you have a great day.